What's up, Titan Nation? How's everyone doing? Some bad news right now in Nashville, Tennessee, guys, okay? This offseason is, 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 is starting off bad, okay? Let me tell you, if you guys haven't heard about the breaking news that happened maybe a couple hours ago. Again, from I read it from Teron Davenport. Um, again, I'm going to go with Teron. Uh, Teron's usually on point with this stuff. So our running back... <clears throat> Hassan Hatkins has been arrested for aggravated assault or aggravated uh, ag aggravated assault by strangulation, I think it was called. Which is horrible. It's terrible uh, for the Tennessee Titans, especially this offseason uh, with the running back situation. We do have Spears that we just um, <clears throat> that we just picked up from the draft, and again, there's been really, really good rumors, good reports on Spears uh, looking like a solid number two running back behind Derrick Henry, which is good, right? It's a good situation, but you know, due to injuries and stuff like that, you always want to have a, a, a backup running back, and you know, Hassan was. I wanted to see what he had. This year, you know, I wanted to see who's, you know, is going to be again. But he's already familiar with the offense, so I wanted to see what he was going to do. But it seems like that's not going to happen, okay? So apparently, him and his girlfriend got into an argument because she went on Instagram was looking at some dude. She liked, uh, I guess, the guy's photo, and homeboy went nuts. Okay, that's the news right now. That's what all I have. But as of right now, it's terrible. And if that is true, and and you know, he is found guilty. Then I don't think, I don't think we're gonna have him as a Titan anymore. And I don't think he should be playing football anymore, especially if he's gonna be uh, doing any of that off-season stuff. I mean, you don't show aggressiveness in the field, but you want to show aggressiveness, you know, at home. Please, no, guys, it's not good. Don't do that. Come on now. Um, more news, right? Uh, that was yesterday. I I didn't want to make a video because I didn't think it was not video worthy. But you know, you know, our uh, right tackle Nicholas uh, Petit Frey or whatever Frey Frey, whatever he is. Well, he ain't gonna be playing for the Tennessee Titans uh, for six games. He got suspended for six games for uh, breaking the policy of the famous betting again. You cannot bet. No, you can bet. Okay? He didn't bet on any NFL games. He didn't bet on the Tennessee Titans, which is a good thing. I always think that's that's a dumb move to why why would you start betting for, for your team or whatever? And not, not, it's not an Atlanta situation. It's not like the Indiana, uh, the Colts situation. But he did bet on other sports teams. Um, I think, I don't know if it was baseball or basketball, or whatever, but he did it. I think the problem was that he did it. Um, <clears throat> he did it in the Titans facility, like he did it on like Titans ground. Like so, I think it was like maybe he might have. And it looks like it's been a it been a mistake. It looks like he really didn't understand. Um, didn't understand the rules, maybe, or maybe. I mean, that's what he's coming out. That's what he's saying that you know he, he made a made a made a mistake. I would understand if he was betting, you know, the Titans or like Derrick Henry was going to rush for this amount of yards, and that's what he he made a bet on. But it wasn't anything like that. It was basically <clears throat> after practice, probably was bored, just hanging out in the facility, you know, getting changed or just in the locker room, and decided to place a couple bets and stuff like that. And you can't do that. So he's going to be out until um, week seven, which is against the Atlanta Falcons at home. So he missed. We have the, the Ravens. We have obviously the Saints. We have the Bengals. Um, what's the other couple of games that we have in that those um, six games? So bad timing really really bad for the tennessee Titans as of right now as we're still trying to get a little bit familiar with our offensive line i mean again they're very very young um and this just gives it gives us another step back to our offense unfortunately which is taking a toll um hopefully 
Um, they can find someone to plug them in. And, and maybe we see something going on with this offensive line. But as of right now, I don't, I don't see the offensive line, you know, progressing, hopefully. But as of right now, it just doesn't look good for the, the Tennessee Titans. Okay, guys? But remember, chin up, man. Don't worry. We'll see uh, any more news on Hassan Hackins. And hopefully there's no more, other, there's no more players uh, in the Titans locker room that are betting on other sports. Please, because you know what? This offseason has been rough, guys. But I want to thank everyone for watching this video, for clicking this video. Remember, don't forget, September 16th, that's a Saturday, the Rudder, Mr. Titan Event Annual 3. Okay? The third year doing the Mr. Titan Event. I hope you guys can come. It's going to be a great time. You got DJ. You got... Uh, players coming we got trivia we got giveaways it's gonna be a great time if you've been there before the rudder is in hendersonville it's gonna start at one o'clock okay one o'clock september 16th mark it down mark it down and if you haven't shared or you haven't liked this video or if you haven't subscribed to the mr titan channel and you're a titans fan what are you doing do it now click it click it click all right guys that's all i have for you y'all Tighten up. Let's go.